everyone, welcome back to Seams and Notches, where we teach the art of fashion design and creative pattern cutting by a professional in the fashion industry and a researcher in creative pattern cutting and fashion design. So be rest assured that you are learning from the best. So before we get started, let's get all our tools ready for today's tutorial. So for today's tutorial, I will be using the following tools. With me here, I have got my pattern paper. I've got my fabric, which is a calico or muslin. I've got my pattern master. I've got my straight ruler. I've got my paper scissors. I've got my fabric scissors. I've got my measuring tape my masking tape or a cello tape, whichever tape you've got. I've got my eraser. I've got my box of sewing pins. I've got my pencil and my tracing wheel. So first of all, we need to get our pattern cotton paper. And because we are using our sleeve block today, we are going to draw a vertical line at the center of our pattern paper. So a trick that I normally use, I tend to fold my pattern paper into two like so. And this will create a line at the center of my pattern cotton paper. And also I use this to draw in my green line. So this is one of the easiest way for you to get a straight line on your pattern paper. So now that you've created your vertical line at the center of your pattern paper, we need to get our ruler and draw in that vertical line. Once we are done with that, we need to get our fitted sleeve block, which we have previously drafted. So if you want to know more about that, make sure you click on the link on the screen. So now that we have our sleeve block ready, all we need to do is to align our block on the vertical line on our pattern paper, like so. So I'm going to align the notch on the crown of the sleeve and as well as the notch on the base of the sleeve. I'm going to align both notches on the vertical line on our pattern paper. And also one of the vital rule when it comes to pattern cutting, make sure when drafting your patterns or your blocks, you have all your notches in place. This is a very important step. So the next step will be to trace off our sleeve block. So once we are done tracing, we need to draw in our underarm line. So once that is drawn in, what we need to do next is to measure our underarm line. And whatever measurement that is, we need to divide that by four. Using our measurement, we are going to divide the lower part of the sleeve into four sections. Once we are done dividing the underarm line into four sections, we are going to go ahead repeating the same step by measuring the base of the sleeve and dividing that into four as well. So next we are going to get our straight ruler, placing our ruler on each of the points and drawing a vertical line. Now that we have the lower part of our sleeve block divided into four sections, the next step will be to get our paper scissors and slash open each of these sections. Now that we are done slashing our sleeve block, what we need to do is to get a fresh sheet of pattern paper. And we are going to draw a vertical line like we did before at the center of our pattern paper. And once that is drawn in, we are going to get our slash patterns. 
and we are going to place that on our fresh pattern paper using our masking tape or our cello tape to secure our pattern. Now that we have the crown of our sleeve in place, what we need to do is to make sure we tape in using our cello tape or our masking tape, the lower part of our sleeve, making sure we place that on the vertical line, approximately half an inch from the crown of the sleeve. So we're going to use our cello tape or our masking tape to place that in. Next, we need to spread each section of our sleeve block by five centimeters. So it depends on how big you want your volume of your sleeve to be. You can spread according to your own preference, but for mine, I am using five centimeters for each spread. So we are going to start from the middle section, working our way to all the sections. Now that we are done spreading our sleeve pattern, what we need to do is to work on the wrist area. So I'm going to use my pencil to draw in new lines. This is just the shaping out the base of the sleeve. Once I'm done drawing in my new wrist line, I am going to use my pattern master to make sure all the lines are in perfect shape. Once we are done, we need to move towards the crown area of the sleeve. And we are going to go ahead to draw a new line connecting the crown of the sleeve to the rest part of the sleeve. So once we are done with that, we need to get our ruler or our pattern master to draw a straight line connecting that point to the wrist line. So now that our pattern is in perfect shape, what we need to do is to get our tracing wheel to trace out this pattern. So once we are done tracing out, what we need to do is to take off our old pattern. Next, we are going to get our pattern master to draw along our trace lines. So once all the lines are drawn in, all we need to do is to add our seam allowance. So for my seam allowance, I'm going to be using one centimeter. 
Once we are done adding all our seam allowance, what we need to do next is to cut out our pattern using our paper scissors. Now that our pattern is ready, we need to get our fabric, making sure it's wide enough for our pattern. We're going to place our pattern on our fabric. Using our sewing pins, we are going to secure our pattern on our fabric. Finally, using our fabric scissors, we are going to cut out our pattern. Don't forget to notch your pattern before taking out all your sewing pins. Now that our pattern is done, all we need to do is to add our guarded stitch on the baseline of the sleeve and this will be our final look. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.